Hello, this is going to be a simple and straightforward install guide for Super Mario 3D All-Stars Deluxe on PC. For starters, you do not need to install every ROM for this to work. You can choose to only install the games you're interested in if you so please, so keep that in mind while we continue. This guide will still be covering everything though, so if there's a game you don't want to install, simply skip that part of the guide. Final note before we start the tutorial, the ROM file types are not optional. If a file ends in .wbfs, for example, you'll need a ROM of that exact file type. You cannot simply rename an ISO file or vice versa. First things first, you'll click the install link in the description and you'll be taken to some website to download the 3D All-Stars zip. It may not be go file by the time you're watching this, but generally just click download wherever that is and however that may look for you. Now we're going to open the zip and extract it somewhere you want to keep it. So I'm just going to extract it to my desktop for the sake of the tutorial, but you should extract it to where you want to keep these games. First things first, when booting the launcher, you can see which games you have installed based on if they are grayed out or not. As you can see right now, we have no ROMs installed, so every game is grayed out. So let's start installing some games. Right here on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Deluxe folder, there'll be a folder called Data. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And there's a folder called ROMs. We're gonna go ahead and open that. Now, for Super Mario 64, we use the PC port. So we're gonna open the Super Mario 64 folder that's in this ROMs folder and you're going to have to get your own Super Mario 64 copy. I'm not allowed to provide anything, you have to find all these ROMs yourself, but if you have a Super Mario 64 PC port, you'll just drag and drop the files for it in here. It can be any Super Mario 64 PC port you like. I personally, on my own install, I like to use the one with online multiplayer. But again, it doesn't matter. All that matters is you rename the EXE to your Mario 64 to Super Mario 64. And it should look just like that, Super Mario 64.exe. Next, we're going to install Super Mario Sunshine. So back on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Deluxe folder, we're gonna open data, head back to ROMs, and we're going to drag and drop our Super Mario Sunshine ISO right here. It needs to be an ISO file, and you must rename it to just Super Mario Sunshine. Just like that, regardless of the region it is, it needs to be named that. Now back in our folder, we're now going to install Super Mario Galaxy. So we're gonna head back to data, ROMs, and we're going to drag and drop our Mario Galaxy .wbfs file. It's important to note that these, that both Mario Galaxy 1 and Mario Galaxy 2 need to be USA versions. This is because we load the USA version of the classic controller patch. So it is not optional. Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 need to be the North American versions. Now that we've dragged Mario Galaxy in here, we're going to rename it to just be Super Mario Galaxy.wbfs, just like that. And now to install Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to do the exact same thing. Remember, it needs to be a USA ROM. There we go. Now then, the final game we have is Super Mario 3D Land. All we got to do is drag and drop our .3ds file in here. And this one's a little different. It needs to be called Super Mario 3D Land, exactly like this. And we're going to change the .3ds file extension to .cci. It'll give you a little warning. Go ahead and click yes. If you're not able to change a file extension or see these file extensions, it's because you need to click these three dots, go to options, go to view, and you're going to scroll down to hide extension for no file type for known file types. You're going to make sure this is unchecked. Hit apply and okay, and you should see the file extensions for whatever you were trying to work with. Now then, if we load up the Super Mario 3D All-Stars launcher, you'll be greeted with the screen, and you'll see here now all of our ROMs are lit up, indicating that we've done everything correctly and you're ready to go. Your controller should just work on every game here. However, Super Mario 3D Land is known to cause some issues. So to show you how to fix it, we're gonna quickly boot it up. Once we get into the game, if you notice you can't move or anything and you're struggling with the controls, just go ahead and hit escape, click emulation, configure, go over to controls, and start binding your controller. One more thing to note after you're done binding your controller, make sure you head down to motion slash touch, go over here to configure, and make sure you bind these two things by double-clicking them and then pressing a corresponding key. 
This is for your inventory, so if you get an extra item, you can use it by simply hitting a button. I like to bind this to up on the D-pad or down on the D-pad, but you're free to bind it to whatever you want. Every other game should just work with your controller out of the gate. If it doesn't, try getting it to initiate in X input mode. For example, if you're using a PS4 controller and you're having trouble, try to get something like DS4 so it emulates an Xbox controller and you should be good to go. With all that out of the way, hopefully it worked for you and you're good to go and you're ready to start enjoying some 3D Mario very simply on your PC. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye fat bitches.